Frogs are not something your average Albertan sees on a typical day. That's because there's only four species located in the entire province, the largest being the northern leopard frog. The species acts as a good indicator of water quality issues because it's so dependent on water for all of its life stages. I like to use the expression canary in a coal mine. So because um, northern leopard frogs obviously um, utilize water, so if water quality is decreasing, for instance, um, then northern leopard frog populations would disappear, which would have a big effect on lots of the other animals and plants within that ecosystem or the wetland that they're inhabiting. Since the 70s and 80s, there's been a decline in this species. Experts cannot pinpoint a single reason for the decline, but suggest a combination of reasons. One of those reasons is predation, not just of the frog, but of their young as well. You would think that a species that lays four to 5,000 eggs would beat the odds of survival. But they play a numbers game. So there's lots of um, animals that predate on frogs, including eggs. Um, some of that would be invasive fish species, also lots of birds, so they're kind of relatively at the bottom of the food chain, so lots of things want to eat you. So it's good to play a numbers game. One of its major predators is the northern pike, a species introduced to supply the demand of recreational fishing. Moving and shifting um, species like pike crown um, into areas where they didn't formerly belong is like, you know, will have huge impacts. Another major challenge for the northern leopard frog is the drainage of Alberta's wetlands. And if there's been significant wetland drainage throughout the province to the point where um, you know, they produce, their, they lay their four or five thousand eggs per female on one site, but none of those juveniles are ever going to be able to disperse and repopulate another waterway because there's no water adjacent to them, then, um, then those populations of frogs that still exist cannot repopulate site other waterways. It's an issue of um, of waterways throughout the province. You've lost them from so many of those sites, just completely, that um, now, now they're only at a small number of sites. Imagine you and 20 of your family are crammed into a small house. It's time for some of the kids to move into their own home. But the nearest home is miles and miles away, and there's no mode of transportation to get you there. Lack of connectivity and wetland drainage. This is the uphill battle the northern leopard frog faces. The farther away they are, you can imagine a little tiny frog having to jump 20 kilometers and crossing three main highways isn't going to be that successful in getting to the other pond. I, I think it's very promising if we act now because you've still got them. You know, I've, I've spent 15 years of my life working in endangered species um, conservation and research. And you know, when you work on um, a lot of other projects where, where species have got critically endangered, you often think, what, what if I could go back 100 or 50 years to when they were, we knew they were in trouble, but they were, they were in so much trouble you know, as they are now. And so the northern leopard frog is kind of in that situation because we're noticing the decline. And so we have a source population that we can manage that is still in reasonably good numbers. So if we, if we act now, then we really can save them in Alberta. In Canada, you don't have an incredible diversity of amphibians. And to, to lose them will deny um, the future generations of Alberta the amphibian experience, which is a part of the wilderness experience.